You know, Paul, these are fun. I know. We've had close to 700 episodes of doing this stuff. Well, I mean, I know that sounds like a lot, but, I mean, we're only in the car for like two hours one day a week, (laughs) so it's not really, like... And you know what? We Throughout this journey, we've been able to meet some great people, collaborate with some great people, and also... You guys are thinking about moving and getting out of all this snow. Check out Mr. Rogers Homes, top one percent realtor in Arizona. Think about moving to the Valley of the Sun. He's your guy. Tell him Paul Mario sent you. But like people like that, think about being able to move. But I don't think that should take away from this area. You said something on a previous episode this week that said Buffalo is the hot spot. Buffalo is the place where free agents want to go. Uh-huh. Buffalo, you say people. Excuse me, what? Buffalo called what? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I would like you to sell Buffalo to a free agent. I'm the free agent. I'm thinking about where I want to spend my next two or three years. Okay. I'm talking to my agent. My agent says, hey, Buffalo calls. Okay. What did they say? Okay. Very first point. Did you go to Clemson? Because if you did, I don't mind. I did not go to Clemson. Okay. All right. That's out of the way. That's out of the way. Just had to check. If you're from Clemson, this is how the phone call goes. Bye-bye. That's how the phone call goes. I'm not drafting any player from Clemson. We've got a front row seat to what that looks like. I don't want Google 2014 draft. Yeah, I mean, you could, we could go down the list. I'm not interested. We're not doing that. Today. Not interested. Um, okay. I. So, uh, you're an NFL free agent or an undrafted free agent? I think the dynamic's different, so that's that's why I want to ask. Are you an well, I undrafted will... free agent or, or an or exclusive, or like a, a unrestricted? Okay, free agent? I'm, I'm. I've already. I'm a. I'm. We'll do this. I'm an undrafted free agent. Okay. And then I'll interview, I'll do the one to you of the vested veteran. Okay. All right. All right. That's I'll fine. I'll try to sell it to you. Okay. So you're selling a rookie. You got to right. sell a rookie. Okay. Offense or defense? You get to name, you get to pick your poison here. Offense or defense? I'm an und- undrafted linebacker. Okay. But you got to try to sell Buffalo. Good thing we can clean this up in post production because this is a mess. Okay. I, at the top, that's typically you can do that, right? I yeah. can be undrafted and have been cut, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, did, <laughs> ready? Did you go to Boston College? No, I did not. Ah, uh, see. I went to Miami been... of Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> Perfect. Um, no, I was gonna say if you went to Boston College, you would have already been drafted. Yes. So stupid question. <laughs> stupid question. Zing. Um, all right. Okay. I think I can do this. This has gone all off right. the rails. What are we five minutes into this? Are we no, haven't gotten to the point. No, all not, right. I'm not going to have fun cutting this. Okay. I am an undrafted free agent mm-hmm. linebacker that's looking to sign someone. Right. You have to sell Buffalo. Yep. And you are, uh, you are a nine year veteran. Okay. Running back. That I have to try to sell Buffalo. Okay. All right. I think that's doable. I think okay. that's I think that's manageable, and okay. that makes sense. Okay. Um, now, a couple of things that are important to call out here. Uh, as soon as the draft is concluded, as soon as the last pick is made, free agency starts for these undrafted free agents, right? So yes. it could be a whirlwind. A lot of teams will have a list of guys that they that they need to call, and teams may call up a guy and say, "Hey, listen, I've only got one spot left. You want do, it? do you want it?" Yes or no, I need an answer right now. If the answer is no, I'm going to move on. I'm not calling again, right? So the undrafted free agent process is a really, really tough one for these kids. We've got a little bit of a preview. Yeah. What um, Buffalo Bills and Dean was calling. uh, Mm -hmm. Who's the receiver? I can't remember. Oh, uh, yeah, that was uh, David Sills. David Sills. David Sills, yeah. It was on the phone, constant, constant, because a bunch of teams were calling. And there comes a point where you just say, this is my offer. Are you in or not? Because i am going to move on. 
right? Because every second you spend talking to somebody, you're losing time with somebody else. So yep. it's it's aggressive. Okay, so I'm going to sell you Buffalo. I'm Brandon Bean. You are a uh, linebacker. Okay. Brandon Bean here from Buffalo Bills. Uh, listen, hey, I uh, I saw a lot of your college tape. I know. Uh, you're not even it, listening. I said, hey, coach. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. I don't care. <laughs> listen, I got calls to make, buddy. You call me whatever you want. <laughs> Uh, listen, I saw some of your tape. Uh, unfortunate, you were on our board. Uh, you know, draft picks just didn't fall the way that they needed to for us to, to snag you with the pick. Um, you know, it's, that, that happens sometimes. But listen, I think we got an opportunity in Buffalo. Um, I know that uh, we might not be your first call. We probably won't be your last call. But I really want you to think about it. I think we got something special going on here. And, uh, you know, we'd be looking for you to contribute. So uh, I just want to know from your interest level, uh, tell me, uh, tell me what you're thinking about. You know, would you be interested in coming to Buffalo? Am I just going to be relegated to special teams? Or am I going to get a chance to start? Is, you know, who do you guys got in the room as of right now? Um, I've heard of Buffalo. I'm not really familiar with the area. I'm not really familiar with the team. I know you guys did pretty well last year, but I'm very curious to know what would my role be? Would I have a chance to play and start? Because that's, that's pretty much the goal that I want. I don't want to just be sitting on the practice squad. Um, I really think I could play and be a starter and be a contributing player to, to any team I assign. Uh, what do you guys got up there? So, I'll, I'll first off let me leave with this. Right, your head coach has been a defensive coordinator in this league for decades at this point. He's got a defensive coordinator who's been a head coach in this league. So you get the opportunities in Buffalo that you earn, and I don't think I could stress that enough. If you earn the opportunity, you get the opportunity. We do not block you out. It, this is this is solely a, a you know an effort team. If you can put in the effort, you put in the work, you do the grind, you earn every snap that you get. And if you're not getting snaps, it's because you haven't earned it. It's not politics. It's not any of that. We we get football players here, and if you want to play, you got to earn it. And I need to know whether you're that player. Are you that player, Coach uh, Mr. Bean? I think I can. Like I said, I think I can start. What makes Buffalo stand out because I've already gotten a call from Pittsburgh. I've already gotten a call from Indianapolis. Um, they, they're saying a lot of the similar things that you are as far as they wanted to draft me. However, they didn't get to see enough tape this year because we, didn't, we only played six games and I was hurt my junior year. So, um, like I said, I, I think I could have gone maybe in the third or fourth round. My agent was talking to me about going in the third or fourth round possibly if I was able to play a full season. My knee is completely healed, but who do you got in the linebacker room up there? Linebacker room right now is definitely a position that we're addressing. Um, you know, we've, we've got right now, uh, obviously, you know, Tremaine Edmonds. Uh, Mac is uh, is gone at this point, so. Uh, just just uh, in, I mean. Yeah, well, it's true. All right. You know, Matt's gone at this point. Um, you know, we've, we've got a couple guys who have been on the team for a few years. But the fact of the matter is that uh, skill set matters, right? Um, skill set matters, effort matters, and yeah, you could go ahead and you can you can go ahead and play in Pittsburgh, which has been you know a linebacker factory, right? But just understand that uh, you know in Buffalo, when you're in the building, we want you to be in the building for a long time, and uh, you know if you earn that contract extension, you get that contract extension. You know if you. Uh, if you earn your way out the practice squad, right? We're not just going to uh, we're not just going to activate you and then then not dress you. Like that's that's not how things go in Buffalo. Like if if you're earning if you're putting on that uh, putting on that uniform, uh, that matters to us. And again, you could go to Pittsburgh, you can go to Indianapolis, you can go to one of those places, and that's totally fine. Um, but the fact of the matter is that Buffalo is uh, is the future of where this NFL is going. You got a great defensive group here already you got the what looks like the future of nfl defenses right they're fast they're aggressive that's the way the nfl is going if you want to go back down to pittsburgh and you want to go to indianapolis you go ahead but i promise you that in two years you're going to be hoping that your phone rings and says hey, it's from the 716 i just threatened you <laughs> <laughs> that's basically what that was it was a threat <laughs>